I'm editing Dirty Little Secrets. Up and smiles every brighter. We'll see about that. She looks up and smiles every brighter. That's why you need to listen. Even brighter. Even brighter. We'll see about that. She winks at Janelle. Enough about that. Let's talk about how great you look. She steps back so she can take in the full view. I love that dress on you. Thanks, Mom. Can you believe Mark picked this out? I ordered it from Motherhood Online. I'm glad it fits. You know I hate buying clothes that I can't try on first. Well, tell Mark he has excellent taste. Take that out. Not needed. Real is not needed. Take that out. Nope. Take out tail. Mark has excellent taste. Mark has excellent taste. I'll be sure to let him know. Okay, well, it seems almost everyone is here. Take this out. This is how we talk, but it does not have to be how we write. Okay, well, those are Phillips. I start with it. It seems almost everyone is here. How about we get this party started? Janelle says as we all start to gather in the living room. Too much start. It seems almost everyone is here. How about we get this party started? Janelle says as we all take out start to and just say as we all gather. And make sure that sounds right. Janelle says as we all gather in the living room. Welcome, everyone, to Holly's first annual baby shower. We plan to do this at least once a year, or maybe every other year, she says, being silly. Oh yeah, right. The next baby shower will be Janelle's, I say mainly to her. I have no objections to that. Right up. Okay, I'm going to just take out O and go with, yeah, right. And a point towards her. Mm, a point towards her. I don't need to say anything. Oh, I could just say thank you. I have no objections to that. Right after the wedding, my mom. Let me take that out. I'm going to just say I have no objections. Right after the wedding, my mom interjects. Okay, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to say, but not until after the wedding. But not until after the wedding, my mom interjects. Well, I guess that idea is oh, out the window. Oh, that was her mom saying that. I have no objections. So I'm going to take that out. But not until after the wedding, my mom interjects. Well, I guess that idea is out the window, Janelle says. She always says she's not meant to be a wife. She's not the submissive type, and she can't see herself. Take that on the next. I may do this say, oh well. And instead of Janelle says, I would say Janelle, give her an action. Throws up her hands. Every now and then you want to throw an action in there. You don't want them to just be talking. You want them to be doing some type of movement. She always says she's not meant to be a wife. 
She's not the submissive type, and she can't see herself changing for any man. I keep telling her that's not what... Okay, I'm going to take... She always... I don't like the way that sounds, so I'm going to say Janelle Swears. Janelle Swears. Hmm. Janelle swears she's not meant to be a wife. She's not the submissive type, and she can't see herself changing for any man. I keep telling her that's not what marriage is all about. It's not about the husband being in control and the wife bowing down to him as if he's her master. Okay, I can take that out. So I can say I keep telling her that... Marriage isn't about combining these two sentences the husband okay now let's see how that sounds i keep telling her that marriage isn't about the husband being in control and the wife bowing down to him as if he's her master if that were the case then i wouldn't be married either okay as you i don't know i don't think that it needs a comma Okay, ladies, let's get to the fun part, Janelle says as she begins giving directions to the games. I begged her not to play any god-awful baby games, but she insists. That's the one thing I hate about baby and bridal showers. I can deal with everything else except the games. I think they're pointless and a pure waste of time. Why can't we just socialize? They got pure, not needed, and they waste the time. Waste of time. Why can't we just socialize, eat? Take out just. Taking out all these filler words. Why can't we socialize, eat, and open presents? That's my ideal shower. Janelle said everyone loves to play games. Apparently, this shower has nothing to do with me and everything to do with Janelle. She's right in her element, which is entertaining. I'm happy because that's less work for me. Finally, it's time for my favorite part, the gifts. I open tons of gifts and listen to all the os and os. Yes. I feel like I'm ready to burst out of my skin with excitement. Having all these cute little baby things in my house is just making me more anxious to have my baby here. Just as I'm finished. I'm going to take out I feel like and I'm going to just say I'm ready to burst out of my skin with excitement. I'm ready to burst out of my skin with excitement. Having all these cute little baby nope, things in my I'm house. Say ready. I'm about. I'm about to burst out of my skin with excitement. Having all these cute little baby things in my house is just making me more anxious to have my baby here. Just as I'm finishing up with the gifts, my cell phone rings. Mm. Take out heaven and just say. All of these cute little baby, I don't say things, maybe items. What's in the house, so we don't need to say that. Is take out just making me, maybe I said even more anxious. Need to say here. All of these cute little baby items is making me even more anxious to have my baby. Just as I'm finishing up with the gifts, my cell phone rings. Janelle tries to hand it to me, but I motion for her to go ahead and answer it. She does, and before I realize it, she's nowhere to be found. After opening all the gifts, I thank all my guests for coming and invite everyone to help them. But a motion for her to go ahead and answer it. She does. Um, minutes later, I realize Neil still hasn't 
the time. Taking. Minutes later, I realized Janelle still hadn't returned from taking that phone call. Yes, because I wrote this in present tense for some reason, and I don't want to go back and change the tense. I realized Janelle still hasn't returned from taking that phone call. After opening all the gifts, I thank all my guests for coming and invite everyone to help themselves to the spread of food. Meanwhile, I go down. After opening all the gifts, I'm going to say, and given a short speech uh and given a few short words of appreciation After opening all the gifts and giving a few short words, I don't need to say all, oh, just the gifts. After opening the gifts. After opening the gifts and giving a few short words of appreciation, I invite everyone to help themselves to the spread of food. Meanwhile, I go down the hall to nice find spread. Help themselves to some food or the food. Help themselves to the food. The food. I invite everyone to help themselves to some food. Oh, I know what I can do. Take that out. Let's say after opening the gifts, comma. I give a few short words of appreciation. Once everyone is busy eating and eating, I, there we go. Once everyone is busy talking and eating, I go down the hall to find the hostess sitting in the guest bedroom, sitting with her back to the door, holding the phone to her ear. Okay, too many sittings. Watch out for those repeated words. I go down the hall to find Janelle sitting in the guest bedroom with her back to the door, period. Hmm. Why did does that? Her ear. Wait, I don't know if I need me to say that. Um, with her back to the door, I'm gonna take that part out. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what you hope to accomplish, but trust me, you're fighting a losing battle, she says. Unaware. She says, unaware that I'm standing a few feet away from her. Okay, now my interest is piqued, so I decide to remain quiet and listen in. My interest is piqued, so I decide to remain quiet and listen in before I... I decide. You just do it. You don't have to decide to, you just do.
My interest is piqued, so I remain quiet and listen in before I make my presence known. So I remain quiet and listen. Underneath all of that. And so I remain quiet. We know she listening. What has gotten into you? I've never known you to be this way. In my head. She continues. Okay, so I'm going to take out in my head because if she's processing it, then we know that it's in her head. This is what I mean when I say I was really wordy back then. I've learned a lot. You don't need all of this. So I'm just going to take out in my head and say, I'm trying to process who she could be having this conversation with. Why do I need all that? I don't need all that. I don't need who she could be having this conversation with. All I have to say is who she could be talking to. Who she could be talking to. Or talking with. Obviously, it's someone we both know. Maybe it's Mark, but no, he would have called the house phone. Come on, Janelle, say something so I can figure this out. Okay, I'm trying to process who, I'm going to say who's on the, I don't know why I have a question about that. Who's on the other end of that phone? Uh, don't need to say maybe someone we obviously is someone we both know because that's obvious already. So why I need to say it? So I don't want to say but no. I think I'm gonna say maybe it's Mark, and then say no. I'm trying to process who's on the other end of that phone. Maybe it's Mark. No, he would have called the house phone. Come on, Janelle, say something so I can figure this out. You're asking for trouble. I'm telling you to let this go. Okay. Instead of saying she sits there listening to the person on the other end talk, then she hangs up. I told every detail. I'm going to say she's quiet a few minutes before she lowers the phone. I don't need to say no goodbye or anything. I'm still standing there when she turns around to see me standing in the doorway. All I need to say is I'm still there when she turns around. Nope, I don't even need to say I'm still there because we know that. I just need to say what she does. She turns around and sees me standing there. And so let me listen, because my brain is faster than y'all know how that is. You're asking for trouble. I'm telling you to let this go. She's quiet for a few minutes before she lowers the phone. She turns around and sees me standing there. What's going on? Mm. She turns around and sees me. What's going on? I ask, more curious than ever. I take a few steps.
mm, attack of use at I I walk in and stand next to the bed just in case the news she's about to deliver causes me. Mm, I don't know. What's going on? I take a few steps, closing the gap between us. I didn't know you were there. Come in, close the door, we need to talk. I don't need to say I didn't know you were there. We know she didn't know she was there. So, all that out and just go on with what she was saying. Uh, instead of saying that, I'm gonna say she walks around me and closes the door. This can't be good. All right, I'm taking all this out. Oh no, not the closed door talk. That means big trouble. Just close the door. She instructs again. Okay, I do as I'm directed. We don't need all that. Take all that. Um, your mom will be looking for the soon. That was Dexter. in love with you. I don't need wait what all she has to say is what? He's on the bed when my legs feel like they're about to give up. What do you mean he's in love with me? That's what he was calling to tell you. She sits next to me. I'm going to take this out and just say he doesn't even know me. How can he say he's in love with me? Hmm. 
Mm. According to him, according to him, he knows how he's feeling, and what he feels for you is very real. Janelle, this is not good. According to him, they called it out. What he feels for you is take out very real. Okay. 